from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This story from the Toronto Globe and Mail makes me sick. It makes me sick. It is written by somebody named Rebecca Eckler. And here is her column. She says, On behalf of my four-year-old, who has a Yahoo account in her name, I recently sent an email to her father, who lives in Alberta. Now, you do know Alberta is a province of Canada, right? I didn't think you did. Okay. That's what they call states in Canada, provinces. <laughs> Art laughs, but come on, you're a hockey fan. Of course you know that. The average moron knows nothing about that. <laughs> Hi, Daddy, I typed... As my daughter was fast asleep, Mommy has been talking about Mother's Day. I have only 143 pennies in my piggy bank. She's the best mommy ever. She's been pretty exhausted. This is a four-year-old supposedly writing. Can a four-year-old spell the word exhausted? I'd like to get her something nice. Can you help? Love you. She says it was a slightly pathetic but possibly cute way of reminding my daughter's father about Mother's Day. On what is perhaps the Hallmark holiday of all Hallmark holidays, what's a single mother to do to get some sort of recognition? How about keep those legs closed? How about buy a diaphragm, you bitch? It's certainly not going to come from a child who still licks glue and is too young to understand the concept. But modern single mothers, whether they've chosen to be single, still get along with the father of their children, or have no contact with the father at all, are finding new ways to make Mother's Day special. And in some cases, more fruitful. And of course, the <laughs> that's what we're really talking about here, a fruitful Mother's Day. Meaning getting stuff that's worth cash. It says here, all mothers of young children rely on gifts made by someone else. For the single mom, feeling the need for something more than a crumpled card in a knapsack. How do you like that, huh? It's all about the thought that counts. Right. Something that comes with a gift receipt is what she wants, and she says that it presents a particular dilemma. You can't very well hand over $20 to your three-year-old to do your shopping. So some have learned to lobby on their own behalf. I've drilled it into him, says Toronto-based Vanessa Kraft, the author of Out of Character, about her three-year-old daughter's father, who lives in England. You know, and he regrets that he drilled it into her. Now he's going to be paying for the rest of his goddamn life! 
She says, growing up Mother's Day, like most holidays, had been recognized in my house. So it's a big deal. I even remind my daughter's father that on her birthday, I should also get something. For the fact that I gave birth. Holy cow. You kidding me, right? Her dad knows how to make me cards at the very least. On behalf of our daughter, if you're vomiting now, please uh, try to hold on till the end of this piece. Her dad knows how to make me cards at the very least. On behalf of our daughter, says Ms. Kraft, adding, I've never had a bad Mother's Day being a single mom. You, you, you Wait a minute. Uh, the fact that you have demeaned yourself into begging for something you have no right to expect? A gift from some guy who just happened to knock you up on Mother's Day? Every Mother's Day should be bad because you're pathetic. Says here, Carolyn Weaver, a popular television host of five book shows. Only in Canada could somebody host five different book shows. Does anybody here read a book, much less watch shows about books? Of course, if I had eight months of winter, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be doing book shows and reading books, too. Yes, Carolyn Weaver made the decision to become a single mother via a donor at a fertility clinic. So she has no relationship with her son's biological father. What did you do, write a letter to the Petri dish? Write a letter to a, a turkey baster? You owe me, buster. Says here, last year was her mother's, her first Mother's Day with her son. Look at her son's name is Throne. T-H-R-O-N-E. That's what some people said my dad should have named me, but they wanted to spell it T-H-R-O-W-N. It's a whole other story. In my, in my 30s, and having not met the right man in the right circumstances, I decided to try to become a mother. This is Throne's mother speaking now. I realized continuing to wait for all the stars to be aligned in the Hollywood movie sort of way was a risk I wasn't willing to take. In my picture and my son's picture, there will never be the Leave it to Beaver family picture of Mom and Dabble. Whose fault is that? Who got a squirt for the turkey baster? Says, just because you can't get along with any of the 15 or 20 million men who live in Canada. Couldn't you, uh, come on, dear, couldn't you, uh, get a third line hockey pair to go five hole on you? What's the deal? That's funnier if you know hockey, by the way. Says here, that doesn't mean, however, that Ms. Weaver and her son don't have a lovely family picture of their own. Did you just get that, Art? <laughs> Ms. Weaver was shocked at what she says, the, quote, unexpected support that she got on her first Mother's Day. She said, I received a lovely basket of fruit with a card saying what a wonderful mother I am from my son's godmother. Ms. Weaver's mother, like her father, had at first been unsure about the route she chose to, became a par to become a parent, but was, quote, extremely thoughtful on Mother's Day. Get this. Her father, who's got to be the ultimate pussy, bought his daughter with the bastard child a beautiful diamond necklace. Where do you go after that? What do you get her next year? She says these sort of gestures of support are very meaningful to a newly single mother who is still getting her stride in the social context. Many single mothers like Ms. Weaver and Ms. Kraft receive phone calls from friends wishing them a happy Mother's Day, something that non-single mothers rarely get. Stacy Otis, a single mother of three, says that without a partner, there is, quote, such a greater connection with your children, and that Mother's Day is always, quote, awesome. She celebrates the day at her house or at one of her siblings' houses and has turned it into Family Mother's Day. 
Unlike many of my mother friends, this is Roberta, uh, I'm sorry, Rebecca Eckler, author of Toddlers Gone Wild, who wrote this column. Yes, unlike many of my mother friends, she says, who moan about husbands forgetting Mother's Day entirely, or who complain about partners not even giving them two hours of alone time. Yeah, you know what? I know I knocked you up and you forced me to become a father against my will, and now I have to pay you every goddamn month. You know what? I'll come over and offer you some babysitting services so you can go out with the girls. F you. She says, my Mother's Days are always special. When my kids get excited to give me what they made at school, it's like gold. When you know all you have is each other, it makes the day really special. There's a woman in denial. Says here some single, non-traditional mothers, such as Ms. Weaver, still think of Mother's Day as a traditional holiday, but one that gives unique families an opportunity to define themselves, their tone and outlook on life. Rebecca Eckler finishes up her column in the Toronto Globe and Mail by saying, as for me, the email worked. I'll be at a spa, thanks to my four-year-old's request via her mother's email. And the guy, uh, <laughs> that guy who sent her uh, a spa gift certificate, he's a pussy tit. You know what? First of all, let's just say that many single mothers became single mothers because they got knocked up. And they allowed themselves to get knocked up, frequently unbeknownst to the poor slug, the poor schmuck, uh, who, who didn't realize when she said, oh, you don't need a condom, don't worry about it, didn't realize that she was later going to then say, you're going to live up to your responsibilities. And not only that, later on would have her so-called four-year-old daughter writing letters and requesting spa treatments. You've got to be kidding me. You know, you ladies are already getting a Mother's, Day's gift, a Mother's Day gift. You know what it's called? Child support. That's your Mother's Day gift. By the way, you got the ultimate Mother's Day gift. You got a baby using our sperm, okay? You don't deserve spa treatments, diamond necklaces, or any kind of special recognition, at least from the poor sap whose sperm you used to create a kid he never gets to see, probably never wants to see in many cases. You got a lot of goddamn nerve expecting to get gifts on Mother's Day if you're a single mother of a bastard child. Do you agree or disagree? Tom Likas. I have no complaints. She was wild and crazy. Didn't She wouldn't say no to anything because really? she was married. Like a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> On 800 tom is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, yes, yeah, single mothers now are whining that the fathers of their children don't give them anything for Mother's Day. Boo freaking who? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Lori on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi there. Um, Hi there. I just wanted to put this out there before I ask my question. I'm 31 years old. I am female, and I never want to get married or have children. So that said, my question to you is um, I heard the tail end of that last rant, and my question to you is if a guy is stupid enough to sleep with a girl and not put a condom on, don't you think that he should be responsible for paying? The he is, he is blood? responsible. Who said he isn't? Okay, well, I, I kind of... Did, like when did I mind. say... Well, then, if you didn't hear what I said, maybe you shouldn't have called in. My apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've heard you. I've, I've listened to you. Uh, you uh, at any time, did you hear me say that men are not responsible for paying child support? You were you said something. Did you about hear me say it that? Like, it sounded like you were saying the child support is your gift. You don't. Even that is. Like you were well, you're that got, you've got that is a gift. That is a gift. Yes. That, 
that they don't deserve it, but they do. It's a gift. It's a gift because because these guys did not want to be parents in most of these cases. Uh, That is why they have skipped town. That is why they're nowhere nearby. In many cases, these women just wanted to get knocked up and lied about using birth control in order to get knocked up. So from that guy, child support is a gift. Absolutely. In that situation, I completely agree with you. But the fact is that uh, nobody owes anybody a Mother's Day present, least of all guys who are not living with the mother of that kid. Not required. Not re- yeah, the only reason guys want to give Mother's Day presents is so they won't get uh, 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 aced out of sex at home. <laughs> okay. Because, right. they, because well, it's something they, they, they're, they're expected to do. But uh, some guy who's not getting any poon any uh, should not be giving uh, a Mother's Day gifts, period. Well, I no, I agree with that. If they're not together, why should he get her anything? Well, that's yeah, what. Well, yeah, had you been listening to the show, which you clearly weren't, uh, I you would know. Work. I'm sorry. You would know. But the point <laughs> is that you, but you need to be listening at the beginning of the hour to know what the topic is, which you didn't, because the uh, we began by reading a lengthy column from the Toronto Globe and Mail, uh, written by a single mother who expected the father of her children to send her a Mother's Day gift, and 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 got him to do it by by writing a letter that was allegedly from her four-year-old daughter. Oh, my gosh. See, that's horrible. You're right. Well, that's so you bull- say you, you do agree with me, but but, but because you. you didn't hear the whole thing, you decided to call up and start giving me crap. <laughs> okay. Well, I learned my lesson now. I hope you did. Now, look at that, by the way. Look at that on the screen. Mia Lee, can you see her nipples there? The, 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 the anchor woman on Channel 9? I'm telling you. You know, I don't think those... Some women have nipples you cannot pad. They are just going to show through whatever you wear. I swear I'm seeing her nipples. And I've seen them before. I'm not complaining. I'm just commenting. We could use more of that. I think she ought to give that Lauren Sanchez some fashion tips. T-I-P-S. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I want to make sure people heard me correctly. Uh, I mean, really, should uh, the... Look, can you see her nipples there? I mean, it's kind of a Where's Waldo thing. She's got all those dots on there, but you can see if you look carefully. Mia Lee does the news on Channel 9, KCAL here in L.A., and uh, she's on every day at... uh, I think she's on at noon, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 doing the news. By the way, I was uh, I was listening to our all news station here in town, and the all news stations in town. You know what they do? If you have an all news station where you live, I know they have them in Dallas and other places where we're on. Uh, the all news station like redoes the news, depending on the station, every twenty minutes. In the case of the station I was listening to, every thirty minutes. So I'm listening, and and they are just two minutes away from telling you the top stories because it's time for the twenty minute cycle to begin again. But before they do, they <laughs> They have a preview of what's coming up at 3 with the next anchor man who's coming on at 3. And he tells you some of the stories he's working on. Now, if if you've got news, why are you holding it back till 3? You're an all-news station. Don't hold out. What, why do we need a preview? Don't give us a preview. Tell us the story. Now, if it's that important, don't we deserve to know it now? Here are some of the stories coming up at 3. How about you tell us now? This is not a, a talk show. It's all news. Gonna try to hold people till the big three o'clock hour. <laughs> Nuclear warheads are pointed at various LA neighborhoods. We'll give you the names of those neighborhoods coming up at three. Also, a possible earthquake. We have the epicenter and the magnitude coming up right after three o'clock. Also coming up. Ridiculous. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Enrique on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm okay. Hey, uh, commenting about the Mother's Day gift. Uh, my story's a little bit different. I'm a single dad. I have full custody of my daughter, and her mother does not see her at all and requests a gift. Now that is even worse. Yes. That uh, is really arrogant. Yeah, request for a gift, doesn't even see her, doesn't call on her birthday, doesn't send her a card, nothing. By the way, uh, do you get child support from the child's mother? 
Yes, I do. <laughs> See, that's she's she's outrageous. Yeah, it's outrageous. Most the gift. Does she at least pay on time and stuff? No, she doesn't. Doesn't pay on time. Uh, does she pay you the whole amount she owes you? Uh, she tries to get away with uh, paying, underpaying me, I guess you could say. And do you have to ever go to family court to get it uh, to pay up? I've gone twice. Unbelievable. That's outrageous. What makes her think you owe her a Mother's Day gift or any gift? What she claims is because she brought her into the world. I see. But she couldn't outrageous. be bothered to be like the uh, the full-time mother and be taking care of that kid. No. She just, she's not even, the last time she saw her was about eight months ago. Unbelievable. Yeah. Do you tell her to F off? Tell her every day. I love it. Every day. Tell her every day and... and she still wants a gift. Well, why doesn't she just get knocked up by somebody else? That's what I told her. <laughs> I let somebody else worry about that. <laughs> oh, man. Enrique. All right, Tom. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Can you take me out Kobe's Kyle? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone for that. That is truly outrageous. Uh, this is Hector on the Tom Likas show. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great. Glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. So Tom, I've been listening to your radio show, and um, I just don't see why you got to be so negative. Uh, if there are women out there, because you know, this is outrageous. Not outrageous, Tom. Okay. Of course it is. You made two comments. When I, when I first tuned in, I heard you talking about the, the story you read, whatever. But then later on you say you single mothers don't, don't deserve gifts. I mean, there's single mothers out there that have been beaten by, by their husbands. There's single mothers Well, they there. shouldn't have married guys who beat people and shouldn't have been having babies with them. Hey, but you know, sometimes that, that's not the way it is. You know, the, you that, mean, that is the way it is. Oh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Life isn't black. I life. talked to a woman on the air last week who called here, and she was upset because her husband beats her. And they have a kid. And uh, she said to me that, uh, well, he only beats her once in a while. She was more upset at me than, than the husband. All right, well, okay. Well, she let, also let, plans to have three children with him. Am I supposed to feel sorry for somebody like that? That's one person, Tom. That's one there's person. a lot of those out there. And there's also a lot Isn't of it amazing how many women are with one abuser after another? Yeah, the last boyfriend beat me, and my husband beat me, and then my boyfriend before that, he beat me. Isn't that amazing? Okay, Tom, I, I, I just I heard your point. Now let me make my point. No, no, I'm asking you a question. Isn't it amazing? No, me, sir, don't you find it don't you find it the least bit curious? Can I make a point, please? No, no, but do you find that the least bit curious? All right, thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. You know, you do not determine the course of the conversation here. I do. I'm the boss. My name's on the product. That's it. This is Will on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Hey, first time caller, long time listener. Uh, I just wanted to comment on uh, the first uh, lady that called in and said, uh, you know, about uh, them deserving gifts. First of all, I think the guys should be getting gifts for their mothers and not their girlfriends since it is Mother's Day, not Wife's Day. That's or true. Girlfriend Day, whatever it may be, you know. Well, I, I you know, again, uh, the, the only reason men should ever give a woman a gift is uh, because yeah, they are exactly they, they are like they got a gun to their head, and in order yeah. to get laid, they have to give a gift, which is prostitution. Yeah. But it's the legal form of prostitution that we have in the United States. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right on. All right, Tom, I gotta go, man. Uh, so, uh, can you take me out, uh, Kobe style? I certainly can. Will. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. Here comes Kathy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Kathy. Uh, thanks. I'm a long-time listener and a big, big fan. Um, I just really, as a woman, want to push and reiterate 
um, to men who listen to you to please, please, I beg of you, please wear a condom. Well, I tell that to men all the time, but, you know, you can't turn the whole show into one big disclaimer. You, you, you know, I mean, where I work, I, I see this every day, all day, and, I, you know, it's just the promises of, oh, I'll take care of it, um, I'm on the pill, um, I'm getting the shot, I'll, I'll, you know, use the sponge, whatever it is. Don't believe it. Just don't believe it. I'm a woman. Don't believe it. You know, these, all these lies that come out of women that want to trap a guy and get money from them, and they don't. And then they create a life, another, you know, human being, and for what? A one-night stand? I know. It's outrageous. Uh, nobody agrees with, you, agrees with you more than I do. But uh, you just can't be saying it every five minutes on a radio program. Then nobody will listen anymore. But uh, yes, please, everybody, <laughs> use condoms. All right, there. They won't, but I'll tell them anyway. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Single mothers now demanding Mother's Day presents. Don't you think that's outrageous? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Women are the biggest snakes there are. So you might as well get what you can and get rid of them before you get bit. It's the Tom Likas Show. Feeling intrigued and bored simultaneously. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of the program. We appreciate it. So do, uh, do single mothers deserve Mother's Day gifts? I say forget it, especially if you're the father of that kid. You already sent it or a child support check in most cases. She wants spa treatments or babysitting. Let her go out and get a goddamn job. Or a second job if necessary. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Sebastian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Thanks for letting me on, Tom. been listening to your show since you used to pass turkey neck in the corridors if you know where. <laughs> Tom, the only gift these women deserve is a big knuckle sandwich, bloody punch in the face from their kids who do deserve a good father all along and were robbed of one by these lazy, selfish, self-absorbed, ugly-looking bitches. I'm amazed at the arrogance of the woman who wrote this column and some of the people she quotes in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, way, and, how, about, and how about the woman? This is the other one. How about the woman who uh, calls the father of her kid who has full custody of the kid? She doesn't even see the kid, and she wants a Mother's Day gift, thinks she deserves it. It's beyond ridiculous. It's beyond ridiculous. What, I mean, what, what can you say? It's uh, beyond ridiculous. When did, your, when did your book come out, by the way? Or do you have one coming out? Uh, not soon enough. That's all I can say. There's, I know there's a big demand. and uh, be, first, be first in line, my friend. We will meet that demand. All right. Take care. Sebastian, thank you. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Do you think that single mothers should be getting Mother's Day presents? And if so, who should be giving the presents? I really would like to hear your opinion about this. 1-800-5800-866. Wendell is calling from Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello there, Tom. Hey, let me tell you about what I'm doing for Mother's Day. What's that? My mother's coming to my house. We're going to get a keg of PBR. My band, The Devil's Train, is going to play. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a good time. And I'll tell you why, Tom. I'm going to spend some time with my mother because she's my mother. My wife, she's got a kid. Guess what I'm getting her? Not a damn thing. You know why? She's not my mother. I got an ex-wife who has a kid as well. I have a child with my ex-wife. You know what I'm getting her? Not a damn thing. She's not my mother. And I looked on the calendar. It doesn't say anywhere some broad I knocked up day. Exactly. Exactly. My mom passed away 10 years ago. So there's no one left on the list who is going to be getting a Mother's Day gift. Now, I've got uh, two sisters who have children. I've got a sister-in-law who has a child. But this is not my responsibility. 
It's not your responsibility. And for a single mother to be thinking that she has something coming, I'll tell you what, Tom, I, I pay child support. I make $13.75 an hour. When my ex-wife was 22 years old, she got pregnant by a 62-year-old man. We divorced. She married bragging about something else. No, 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 no. I knew exactly what you were saying. All right, Tom. Love you. Excellent topic. Let's, let's keep it real here. It's about your mother. It's not about some broad you knocked up. That's right. Exactly. Thank you for that. By the way, having a kid is not that big a deal, okay? It really isn't. It is not a miracle. It is not amazing. It is something that happens hundreds of thousands of times every week. There is no miracle involved here. Any more than going and relieving yourself in the bathroom is a miracle, okay? It's the same kind of bodily function. So let's not oversell uh, this. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how are we doing, Tom? I don't know how you're doing. I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm having a good day here. This topic is just awesome. Hey, when I was uh, growing up, one of my first jobs was working at a supermarket. And uh, the 15th and the 1st to us was Mother's Day, because that's when they come all in at one time and cash that check. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, and I'm, uh, you know, same thing here. You know, single dad and uh, and calls me once in a while and tells me where is her uh, Mother's Day present, as if. Give me a break. Yeah, so I just thought I'd throw that in. Well, I'm glad you did, Tony. Thank you. Of course, that's how a lot of guys became fathers. They just thought they'd throw something in. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Matt on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? What's not, up, Dad? Not much, son. Hey, uh, I think that uh, Mother's Day should be for your mom, man, not for some dumb bitch that got pregnant, you know? That's right. And or especially when they tricked you into it or you told them you didn't want to be a father. Yeah, exactly, man. I got tricked into that same stuff, and uh, I've been listening to you and ever since. And I, you know what, man? So, like it's one hundred and one, man. S screw that lady. That's right. Screw her. That's right. <laughs> screw her. Back to right, you were screwing her, you man. might get her a gift. Thank you for that, Matt. Hey, can you take me out, Scott Peterson? Uh well, uh, Lacey Peterson's salad would be tasteless, of course, if we did that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Joanne on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. I'm just a new listener. My husband got me to start listening to you. And I just think it's completely ridiculous. Like, seriously, women who think that they deserve anything is just pointless. Like, I don't know. I think it's just dumb. I myself don't expect my husband to buy me anything. We have two kids together, but I'm not his mother. I think it's just dumb. Like as a woman, from a woman's perspective, I think it's just stupid. I, I think it's outrageous. You know, it's all about women being on the goddamn gravy train. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. Women, our birthdays, Christmas, Valentine's Day. I mean, Mother's Day. Really? If you have children, that's for your children to get you something when they're older, but not for your spouse or your boyfriend or your ex baby daddy to buy you something. Yep, I agree with you. Yeah, I just thought I'd let you know and, you know, tell you that I appreciate your show. It so helps our marriage, even though, you know, you're not all for marriage or whatever. I think it helps out a lot because I'm not, uh, what did you, what do you call it? A uh, ball busting bitch. Ball busting bitch, be. yes. Yeah. So the I just wanted to say thanks and give you my opinion. Well, thank you, Joanne. Ball busting bitch, the three B's. That's right. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Kathy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Um, I was listening to these chicks raving, and I just wanted to say I've been married for almost 15 years, and I rarely do what I want to do. I have three children, and it's all about my mom and my husband's mom. I mean, I could see why some men would want to get a gift to thank the mother of their children, but it shouldn't be expected. I don't, I, I don't see why. Yeah, yeah, you can give a gift to anyone you want. I don't see why anyone would do it. I don't see why anyone would volunteer for that, well, much less feel guilt-tripped into it. Right. 
Yeah, and these, these girls who are pissed off because these guys are doing for their mom and not for them, get over it. You're, they're not, you're not the mom. When your kids are old enough, then they'll do for you. Exactly right. And so I just, it just cracks me up to listen to these whiny bitches. I can't get over it. That's right. I'm sure some of these guys would be happy to go over and, like, service these women. <laughs> if they like a gift. Gosh, yeah, well, that would be a gift in itself. To, but of course, yeah, after what happened to the patch, you might want to wrap that gift. <laughs> well, I just wanted to call in and say thanks. Keep doing what you're doing and tell them shut up. It's not. It's, it's not that serious. You're absolutely right, Kathy. Thank you for that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Tanya on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, I just believe that Mother's Day is another one of those holidays created by Hallmark to guilt you into buying a card and buying a gift. It ranks up there with Valentine's Day, Sweetest Day, Grandparents' Day. Mother's Day is a day that you spend with your children and you do something special. You don't buy a gift. Yeah. How about that Secretary's Day? Nope. Nope. It's a waste of money. It's an absolute waste of money, and it's a gimmick. My husband asked me one day, once what I wanted for Mother's Day, and I looked at him like he was insane. I'm not your mother. <laughs> you know, it's it's stupid. I, I agree with you. Let's go to KP. KP is listening to us in Vancouver, British Columbia, and British Columbia is what? That's right, a province of Canada. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? This is my not my first time, my third time calling you about women. Um, I broke your cardinal rule on dating a single mother. Oh, Jesus. So, but she kind of booted me out. I brought my stuff back last night. But a few days ago, there's some stuff still there. She said, what are you getting me for Mother's Day? <laughs> She's not my mother. But she, if I don't get her something for Mother's Day, there's going to be a problem. Get your stuff out now before Mother's Day. Exactly. So she's tripping. She figures if I get her a Mother's Day present, everything will be okay. But you know what? This is just prostitution. I need something Mother's Day. You don't get it. No, no. Me. It's not prostitution because in prostitution, you give someone something and then they give you sex. Right. And her new This is worse now, than prostitution. Her new thing This now, is like being a stripper who doesn't strip. Anytime she has a bill, like a furniture rental, I told her not to do it. And... I, she said she'd pay for it, but she never has enough. She always wants me to pay. When I bitch and complain not to pay, she's like, oh, it's going to be over. So it's always ongoing. My dad passed away last year in May. He said, don't you listen to Tom? Why are you dating a single mother? And I said, I don't know. You know, it's just happened like that. I broke his rule. I know I got to get out. I tell her, Tom, like I said, I shouldn't date you. And... Maybe it's about time I get out of this uh, hellhole that I'm in. It's been almost four years, and it's been nothing but drama, pay, pay my bills. I pay for a phone bill. There's a text message from a other guy saying, I want you physically and mentally. I want to be there for you physically and mentally. And she says, that doesn't mean he wants to have sex. He wants to just help me drive my kid around. I called the guy last night, and we talked for half an hour. He says, you know, your girl is a player. She gets drunk and loaded. She's easy. And he took her to a club before, and he said, she went and talked to some Spanish guy. And he says, I left. So last night when I came to her house, I said, so you're a player. Then she asked me, who told you that? Who told you that? She kept asking and asking. And I said, why do you want to know what's the difference? And then I told her, she got so angry. Instead of saying, no, it's not true and it's okay, baby, she got mad. She said, you got to go. Take your stuff and go. And I also talked to the husband of the kid yesterday, and he said the same thing. Ayana is up to her old tricks. She did the same thing to her. She got her hair done last Friday. She never came home. So I'm dealing with a supreme B I T C H, and I gotta, I gotta, you know, go to confession to your church, Tom, and get out of there. Go to confession. Oh my God! Wasn't banging somebody about being married to them a sin? Jesus. The Tom Likas Show.